Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations to you since I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. And um, real quick, I uh, just had a couple of scriptures uh, on dreams, you know, because a lot of times, you know, with Jake, you know, even when we were young, you know, because the scriptures say, I will pour out my spirit. Well, let's get that. Let's get you. I said, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Yep, Joel 2 and 28. Should have known that. All right. Uh, 2 and 27, Joel 2 and 20, 27. All right. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your power, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. All right. And we know that uh, a, a man receiving you know, a dream, a vision, Hey, a lot of times a woman could receive uh, a dream or a vision, all right? But that woman, she's going to have to go to one of the prophets or the men of the Lord to uh, understand that dream, you know, to receive the understanding, all right? But, uh, but hey, a lot of times, you know, these uh, the women, they have spiritual dreams too, all right? Going back, you know, to, to the history of Israel as well, all right? But... At the end of the day, man, it's, it's the most high. It's Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, excuse me, putting putting out, you know, whatever it is, you know, that, that spiritual dream that that person might have, all right, versus you just having a dream about some random shit, you know, maybe a couple of the brothers were there, and then, you know, it's not really, um, Edifying, you know, it's just, you know, maybe some small event or something. You know what I'm saying? Because the mind, you know, hey, the scriptures say the heart is deceitful. All right. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, your mind wonders. All right. So a lot of times it's just it's just a dream. But I'm going to continue. It says, uh, verse 29, it says, Also upon my service and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. All right. So the Lord is pouring out his spirit. And we're in those days right now. And I will show wonders in the heavens, in the earth, blood and fire, and pillars of smoke. All right, and we're in that time where the Lord is pouring out His Spirit on the on on all flesh, man. You have, you have had all these videos where people um, describe, you know, the Lord by right, being a dark skinned man. He's coming. He's coming. All right, you, you had one where it was a guy. He woke up out of a coma, speaking the. Uh, Ancient Hebrew. All right, so hey, hey, with the Lord, all things are possible. All right, but let's go to uh, here's Sirach 34 and 1. It said, The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, especially with Jake, yeah, I dreamt these numbers for the lottery. I dreamt I was going to win, the, you know, you know how Jake is. All right, but that's just a that's just a, a dream, man. That stuff ain't necessarily reality. All right, it says, "Whoso regardeth dreams is like him that catcheth at a shadow, and followeth after the wind." Hey, you ain't you really ain't gonna do it. It said, "The vision of the dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another, even as the likeness of a face to a face of an unclean thing. What can be cleansed, and from that thing which is false, what truth can say?" All right, like you had that, which I'm going to go to that scripture next, man. You had that famous Martin Luther King speech, uh, I, I Have a Dream, which he didn't write, you know, which is, that's documented too. I believe it was Amalekai who wrote it. All right, well, a nation where all, you know, that's not, that's not what's written in the scriptures. All right, the thing that's written in the scriptures talks about Israel, okay? When it talks about, you know, your children are going to play with, you know, adders and, you know, the lion is going to be with the goat or, or the sheep or whatever. You know, the animals basically are not going to harm us. All right. 
and you know you're not gonna have to worry about your children and all that. That's talking about the Israelite children, okay? And oh, we're not gonna be holding hands with the other nations, no. And then later on, after you know Martin Luther King, you know, stopped wanting to be a puppet after he recounted and started talking about reparations and a lot of other stuff, you know, I've led the people into a burning building. Then, you know, there's that famous uh, picture of him, you know, where the cameraman was conveniently just standing there right at the exact moment that, uh, boom, he got shot. You know, that, you know, it's, it's interesting how that works with, with uh, a lot of these different uh, deaths of, uh, you know, Jake leaders, you know, that, that cameraman is just, especially, you know, back in the old school, you know, where, you know, where they had the manual camera and you have to actually... You know what I'm saying? Wind it up and do all this extra stuff. And, and then, you know, that, that camera will be conveniently right there, you know, at the moment of that person's death, you know, which we know that Esau Edom is behind it. You know, it, it is what it is. Matter of fact, I believe the government actually admitted to that. All right, but that, you know, you know, it is what it is, man. Esau got a lot to pay for. All right, but at the end of the day, Martin Luther King was a false prophet. All right. I have dreamed. So in this day, man, the, the word of the Lord outweighs any dream. All right, Jeremiah 23, 25. And I've heard what the prophet said, that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. All right. Well, matter of fact, we got to read verse 24, man. We got to, we got to read the, we got to, we got to, we got to get Get the, 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 the mood right, man. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I feel heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of, their, of the deceit of their own heart. Uh, so you, you you got our people who, you know, maybe they did have a dream of that of that madness. But guess what? It doesn't line up with the word of the Heavenly Father. All right? And if you didn't write it and, you know, some Edomite wrote it and told you to, to say it, that means you're a liar. All right? You never had that dream. You just, you just you know, you, you're giving a speech just for the, for the purpose of uh, trying to persuade people to follow you. Which that's, you know, that's a bunch of bullshit. All right, it says what? Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for all. And our people have forgotten that name. All right, even with that name, you, you know, cause that name is very important. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai which is the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of the Son. Very important. Extremely important. You have to have that name. All right? Even, you know, you get into a dream and, you know, it's a, it's a demon on you or whatever. You're calling that name and, 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 and uh, that defense is going to go up for you. Put it like that. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream and he that hath my word let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the weak, saith the Lord? Is not my word a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? It's like it. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, saith the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. And that's what these preachers and pastors and all these people do. All right, they, they take the word of the Lord, and then they're either using it deceitfully or they're misquoting it, all right? Coming with all these different versions of the book where they change words around to make it confusing. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues and say, he saith. Yeah, and God says, but God told me in a dream. God said, he never said that. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them 
and caused my people to err by their lies and by their likeness, yet I sent them not, nor commanded them, therefore they shall not profit this point at all, saith the Lord. And when this people or the prophet or a priest shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. And as for the, the, as for the prophet and the priest and the people, they shall say the burden of the Lord. I will even punish that man in his house. All right, so they said, verse 32 said what? I Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams. Now you having a, having your own dream and, and and putting that for prophecy, no. Which a lot of these Israelite groups that are doing that, that put their own spin on what the Lord said, you know, taking away his name, all that madness. All right. And do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies. So you cause the people to go off. And that's exactly what's happening now. You got all these people. Deep in the church, you know, during COVID, during uh, I can't, I can't say it, during uh, the Crown Vic 19, all right, and then the, the preacher is telling you some total bullshit, and then when that when that MOTB comes, um, they're gonna tell the people to take that too, all right, and the blind is gonna leave the blind, and they're gonna fall right into the ditch, all right, because at some point. These people, you know, the Lord is merciful, man. At some point, these people have came across a Israelite camp, Israelite teaching, you know what I'm saying, namely uh, Great Millstone. You know, at some point, they've, they've come across us, you know what I'm saying. There's so many camps, you know, in Chicago, New York, Indianapolis, St. Louis, you know, Memphis, uh, you know, Milwaukee, wherever, you know. Brothers are consistent. Brothers are doing videos. Brothers are touching on these 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 topics, you know. And everything is just a click a click away, or you know, a walk by away. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's up to the spirit of the Lord, you know, what happens to that person. All right, so hey, it's it's, it's a blessing, you know, to to uh, to know, you know, the things that we know and to be able to see the things that we're seeing. And the scriptures say that too. Blessed are your eyes for they see. This is Psalms 33 and 11. I'm going to close out with this one, man. They say the counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. All right. So at the end of the day, the counsel of the Lord is going to stand. All right. And then we read the different counsel. We read his words. We read his message. We read his law. We read all these things. Blessed is the nation who's the most high is the Lord and the people whom he have chosen for his own inheritance, the Israelites. Shalom.